Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So it's finally happened, as you may have seen on the community tab. The uh, Thomas Wooden Railway 2022 reboot has finally landed in Australian stores, which means I'll be able to pick up the last few items that I couldn't source uh, from overseas at a reasonable price. So, let's kick this right off with a big one. We have the brand new for 2022 Thomas Wooden Railway Kenji. Let's do it. So let's take a look at Kenji. Again, he is uh, one of the, the larger size engines. So he comes in that large size box, very similar box to the rest of the engines of this size. Again, noting that he does have that second wave clean, quote unquote, I call it track design. It doesn't include the paint that some of the original first wave engines had. Boom, there's Kenji in there looking mighty fine and mighty large. Just gonna turn him over. You can see mine got a bit smushed either in transit from the Mattel to the toy store or on the way from the toy store. Same kind of things we've seen on the back with this here. Interesting, I guess they've got the perforations going on. That's the bottom, that's the top, and that's the end. Let's crack them open. All right, Kenji, out of his packaging, he did come with one of the little brochures. Now let's grab Kenji up and do a little bit of a spin around. Oh, you can see there's a bit of the uh, string that was holding him in there still attached. Do a spin around. Now he is a nice looking model. Now I have intentionally not been comparing the Thomas Wood Thomas Wooden Railway to Thomas Wood items because I don't want to detract from what are clearly much better models. Um, and I think it's much better to judge things on what they actually are than compared to what they were before. Because as um, particularly uh, Leo Kim Video has spoken about uh, in several of his videos, but the most recent one I will link in the description below, um, I think we get a bit of a bias towards the older kind of things, which might not actually be uh, better or worse. So I'm just conscious of, um, you know, not pointing out the flaws that some of these items still have because they're just so much better than the Thomas Wood version. So that's why I haven't been doing that. But I think Kenji is the same. You can see again, a very similar design. They've done the front in a very similar way to the way they did him um, in Thomas Wood where the whole front section is this little plastic bit with the face and you know, that little window. And then he has got the printing on the side of the body. Again, similar design he previously had. I think this is just meant to be like to show he's going fast to kind of wave through the window. But otherwise, these details are broader, the same, look pretty good. We've got the pantographs. Again, I believe these are the same piece. Oh, focus in as Thomas Wood, which is interesting. And we've got those on the roof. Nothing on the back, which is different. Thomas Wood, there was something on the back from memory. And then we come to the side and you can see, again, same on this side, we've got the same little wheels and we've got Kenji written on the bottom. So that is relatively standard, although it's nice to see that custom um, running plate. Although I note that this is plastic. So this is plastic on this Thomas Wood item, or Thomas Wood Railway, I should say. This section here, the gray body is the only part that's wood. All the rest of the bits and pieces on here are all plastic. We come to the coach. This is definitely the biggest improvement from Thomas Wood. You can see it's much longer. It's the same size as the quote unquote standard coach size. Um, so that is good to see. It makes it a bit more sizable. Um, you can see you've got that again. The only piece of wood though uh, is on it. Hang on, no. That is plastic, so the only piece of wood here is just this bit at the top. Again, we've got the pantograph, very similar detailing, similar wheels, Kenji's car. Kenji's car, interesting. Um, otherwise, that is how that looks. So we put them together. Obviously, obviously it's not um, accurate to the show. The coach is still smaller than Kenji himself, but this is definitely an improvement uh, on Thomas Wood because those proportions are much better and it looks much less ridiculous. Um, interestingly, and I don't know how well it's showing on camera, um, this section is a lighter section of gray than this. Like the paint on here is distinctly a shade lighter. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera super well. I think you can just see it. This is a lighter gray than this, it's more blue. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just my copy that's like that. And you also notice when I do it in this uh, view that the printing on the si this side of Kenji is crooked. So you can see that the distance between the door and the bottom of the running plate there is much further away on this side. So you can see that this section here is on a slant, which we didn't have on the other side. I bought this online, so I didn't have the opportunity to inspect it beforehand, but you would have seen this fault if you had uh, zhooked open the case before you purchased it. So that's something to note. Now, I will go downstairs and grab my other Thomas Wood engines for some comparisons because they are currently around my Christmas tree. I'll be back in a moment. 
Okay, I've got a bunch of items here we can do a comparison, and I realize I'm gonna have to eat my hat. So, firstly though, for a comparison between this kind of in the middle engine size and Kenji. So he's a little bit longer than Emily, who is the same size as Edward and James, so that's similar kind of size. If we compare it to Gordon, who is kind of like Henry, Hero, all of that, shorter. Interesting. So it seems like Kenji is a unique size. He doesn't fit into quite a standardized sizing system, which is good to see. I'm glad that they're doing that. But you can see still a decent amount bigger than Thomas. But I think if you wanted to make it accurate, it would have made more sense to have him, you know, at least the same length as Gordon for the main engine part. But I stand corrected. This is not the same length as Annie or at the coach length. And you can see this does have a wood chassis. Um, but this does not. And if we line them up, you can see that the Kenji coach is actually a little bit longer, which maybe explains why it's got the plastic base on it instead. Um, but yeah, very interesting. So they have kind of gone with a customized size for Kenji, which I think explains why... Actually, you know what? I have no idea why they've done that. I don't know why they've made this longer than just a standard coach. I mean, I'm, I'm not sad about it by any means. Definitely is nicer that we're getting some length. But it is strange... Uh, that they're doing that. I guess maybe because they didn't want to have this coach be really long and this coach be really short, like Thomas Wood, they kind of wanted to keep them approximately the same. I'm not sure. Um, but yes, an interesting observation that we've just made. And it looks like if people haven't watched this far in the video from before, I imagine there's going to be comments saying, no, Kenji's coach is actually longer than the Indian Cobra. So, you yeah. know, it's a good show of who's actually watching these videos all the way through. But yes, that is an interesting size, and it just shows to show Kenji once again, in the same way his Thomas Wood model is very unique, it seems his Thomas Wooden Railway model is also a little bit different. So, some final thoughts on the Thomas Wooden Railway Kenji and discussion of pricing. So, in terms of pricing, we finally got what I think are the maximum RIP prices in Australia. So, the larger engines are selling for 37 Australian dollars, um, and that's at independent toy stores. Um, I've seen them at other places for about $30, so there's a little bit of variation there. Um, Look, it's expensive. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, I think, than probably the equivalent you'd get from Brio. Um, but it's in the ballpark, and Brio is actually, uh, despite what um, I used to think as a kid, uh, is actually quite a premium product as well, and it's quite expensive. Um, but this whole Thomas Wooden Railway thing is very expensive. The uh, track pack, for example, that this, the track pack is $100 or thereabouts, $90 to $100. So is the figure eight set and the Napford station and that kind of stuff are, are pushing the $200 mark. So it's definitely a premium toy. There's no two ways about it. Look, obviously you do get a little bit, I think, less potentially than you do from getting one of the bigger tender engines if you get this Kenji. But if you like the character, I think he's unique. I think he's interesting. And I think in a range where currently there's really no passenger rolling stock, uh, except for Annie and Clarabelle, who are set exclusives, and that other little open carriage thing, um, it's good to have a passenger train because currently we have very little ability to carry passengers in this new uh, world. I'm also very glad they didn't do the toaster thing with Kenji, um, which is good on the one hand, but also then it's just like, why did you do with Annie and Clarabelle? It's clearly not a consistent thing that they're doing with everything. Um, so yeah, it, it's just interesting in that respect. But otherwise, pretty decent item. Um, he's appearing in all independent retails at the moment and also on Amazon for pre-order to arrive next year. So you can absolutely go and find him. Let me know what you think about Kenji from Thomas Wooden Railway 22 in the comments below. That's what we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains.